Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the FT Spitfire Chuck Lighter. The FT Spitfire Chuck Lighter is an iconic representation of the British World War II fighter, the Spitfire. The following items that we're gonna need for a FT Spitfire Chuck Lighter are gonna be the main wing, the main fuselage, the two nose doublers, the nose weight, and the horizontal stabilizer. The only tool that you're gonna need is your hot glue gun. Let's go ahead and get materials in order and we'll get started. We can go ahead and put aside the tail and the wing here, and we can concentrate mainly on the nose. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test fit right over the top of the front nose, making sure that the top, the front, and the bottom of the fuselage lines up with the doubler. Once we're happy with the way everything fits, we'll take our hot glue gun, and we're just going to go around the outer perimeter. There we go. We'll go right back down once again. Just line everything up and then press down firmly. Once the glue is fully dried, we're gonna flip this over 180 degrees. We'll do just a quick test fit of our nose piece. That fits in perfectly. And once we're happy with it, we'll lay down a bead of glue right down in the middle and then press that into place as well. <laughs> now that we have our nose weight in place, we're gonna put the final doubler over top, doing a quick test fit once again, making sure everything lines up, then flipping it over 180 degrees. And we're gonna place it right down, right around the perimeter, just like before. Now that our main fuselage is done, let's go ahead and bring our main wing in place, and we're gonna actually use the fuselage as the dihedral gauge. Dihedral is incredibly important for any time you have any kind of airplane or even a chuck lighter because dihedral adds stability to the aircraft. You're going to notice a little score cut right here on the edges and the straighter side of the wing is going to be our leading edge. And to get the proper dihedral, all I need to do is simply place my fuselage upside down so the top of the fuselage lays flat against the table. We can then do a quick test fit and we're going to bring it right up to where we see the intake right there. Once we practice that, we can put a bead of glue right down the center of the wing. Bring it right back to the table. And we're gonna hold the far side of the wing flat up against the table and give us a good minute to dry. Now that we have our dihedral in place, let's go ahead and take the leading edge of the wing, that's this side right here, and pass it through a fuselage. On the top of our wing, you're gonna notice two sets of tick marks. Those tick marks are gonna be meant to line up on the front of the fuselage and also the rear. Simply slide your fuselage in until the tick marks are right in the center. It's also a good idea to center down your fuselage to make sure that your wings are raised up evenly on both sides. Once we're happy with that placement, we can lock in the wing with a little bit of glue on the bottom side of the wing. Our final step is to install our horizontal tail. Again, you're gonna notice two little tick marks on the very front leading edge of your stabilizer. That's gonna be to help you center up your stabilizer. Also, the score edge faces upwards. That way, if you have to do any small adjustments with elevator, you can simply crush it in and get your deflection positive. Let's go ahead and slide that in. And there we go. And I'm just gonna take a little drop of glue on the very bottom on each side. It's always important to make sure that your horizontal stabilizer is 90 degrees to your fuselage. At this point, the FT Spitfire Chuck Lighter is now ready for its first maiden voyage. Every model is going to be unique, which means every model may need some custom adjustment. Let's go out and put it up for flight. All right, friends, so we have the FT Spitfire Chuck Lighter ready to go out and test here. Just remember, every build is a little bit unique, which means you may have to adjust it. And also keep in mind that harder or faster you throw it, it may mean you have a different amount of deflection, especially if you're using a rubber band. Now for this, whenever we throw this, we're gonna throw it just like we do a dart, not like a football. In other words, we're gonna point our nose and we're gonna push the plane directly towards the target. A hard toss doesn't necessarily get you farther than a light toss. So what we're gonna do right now is I got my good friend Stefan. We're gonna go ahead and toss this back and forth and see how it flies. All right, so I'm pointing the nose. I'm just gripping right by there. We're gonna toss it nice and flat. Beautiful. So it pitches up just a little bit. I'm actually gonna just deflect down just a little bit with the elevator. Getting there. 
a little bit more and there we go one more uh, that was it that was the money toss <laughs> beautiful these are absolutely fantastic in the gym. If you're ever finding these outside, make sure you always toss it directly into the wind to get the best performance. Thanks so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Thanks for building with me. We'll see you next time.